is up guys welcome back so today we're jumping into our next episode of the how to paint series we are making for borderlands mr tori's arena badassery which is right there and we are now going to paint a set of marauders from the borderlands series so we can throw them into our bunkers and badasses so let's go ahead and uh get some paint on these minis Okay, so we have four of these guys to paint up. What we're going to do is we are going to start somewhere a little bit different this time. Usually I start with skin, but there's not much skin with this model. So we're going to start with the jacket. They have like a blue jean color kind of jacket. So we are going to start with that. We are going to avoid any leather spots. Um, the shoulder um, armor, we're going we're gonna to avoid that too. Their mask is like a red, so we are going to avoid that as well. Um, just the coat or jacket area, that's where, where we're going to hit at. Um, I'm going to take a second look. The shoes might also be that same kind of color. Not the tips, but the sides of them. So I have to take another look. Now what we're going to do is we are going to focus on the pants. And with these guys, they have like a khaki kind of looking color. So I think to keep it safe, I was going to use a vampiric flesh, but we're not going to use that. I think we're going to use a light earth. So I'm, I'm trying to figure out which one would be better. Actually, vampiric flesh might be a little bit better because we are going to darken it up with um, some some speed paints as glazes. So let's try a vampiric flesh. And see how it looks. We do want to avoid any uh, belts, buckles, and straps. So just make sure you be mindful of that stuff while painting these guys. Okay, so with the tan one there for the pants, we're now going to just do a red. A dark red is the mask. You want to hit that mask up. You want to avoid the eye area because that is still like eyes that light up uh, and around the eyes so try to keep that a little gray and then we're going to do that in all the models and then we can move on to our next color so now that we have our masks started we do have the glasses and the straps on there to do we're going to start doing our leathers we're we're going to use a leather brown, and with that leather brown, we're just going to hit up all the straps, the belts, any leather points on this model. Okay, with the leather brown now on here, we can now move on to our next color. And what we are going to do is we are going to use a warm gray, and that's what we're going to use to do the glasses, buckles, the... Um, Tip, the tips of the toes of the shoes. Um, we're going to do the gun with a basalt gray. And usually I would do a basalt gray with um, my metallic areas. But I'm going to change it up a little bit for these guys. Because I want to make them stand out differently than the um, Psycho Bandits that we have. So, and if it doesn't work out, remember it's paint. So it's not going to bother anything if if it doesn't look right or doesn't look good. I can always paint back over it and it'll look completely fine. Okay, so like I said before, you got to try things and sometimes it doesn't work. And we did try on one of the models with one of the one of the metal pieces and it just didn't look right. So we are going to use a basalt gray, which is what we would usually use. And we are going to put that on the buckles, the metallic base all the metallic parts the glasses the leaving the inside hollow um you also want to hit the shoulder armor as well all the metallic areas except for the boot area i think that that color with some metallic dusted over it would be actually okay so we'll see so let's go ahead and get our basalt gray on here and we should almost be ready for our glazes Okay, so before we put our glazes on, we're going to do some little final touch-ups. 
we're going to use a metallic. I think this time we're going to use a natural steel because we are using some glazes. And we're going to hit that with all of the metallic areas. And then we are going to take a off-white and we're going to put a vault symbol on the mask because these masks do have uh, vault symbols as well. So just keep that in mind. Um, you don't have to do that if you don't want to, but I am because that's kind of what their masks look like. So let's get these final touches on there and then we can work on our glazes. So what we are going to do in our wash phase is where we are going to glaze some speed paints over the model. We are going to use a leather brown for any leather spots that we use and then everything else is going to get a Gravelord gray. Keep in mind we are going to use a magic blue for the eyes to give it like that blue tint. Once we get those shades on there, we are going to paint a Rhinox hide on the base. And hopefully that will give it enough time for the speed paints to kind of dry. And once the speed paints are dry, we can then start to do our highlighting phase. And the highlights will basically be the same colors that we put on. Because with the speed, paints, the, the speed paints glazed over, it will then be darkened down, making the initial paints lighter at that point. And then once that's all done, we can paint the rim, put our names on there, and the model will be done. And here is a set of Marauders, completely finished and ready to hit the tabletop. I actually took quite some time painting these guys up. I don't know why. It may, it may be because there's four of them. But it literally took me like five hours to do the set. When you're painting though, take your time, have fun. And you'll end up with some really nice miniatures to use in your games. If this video helped you out in any sort of way with painting up your Marauders for Borderlands, Mr. Torg's Arena Badassery, or Bunkers and Badasses, be sure to leave this video a huge like. Also, if you know anybody that needs help painting up their miniatures, and they might just need that little bit of a push to get some paint onto their models, maybe sharing my videos with them might get them into that state of mind where, like, they might want to start painting their models. It might help them out in the long run. You're not going to get better unless you start. So if you haven't painted the model yet, the best thing to do is just pick up a brush, get some paint, and just start. Because that's the best way to get good at it. You're not going to just pick up the brush the first time and be amazing. But you need to start. That's that's the big hurdle. Um, also, if you like these type of videos and you've been coming back to my channel watching these and you haven't subscribed yet it would be amazing if you did subscribe to the channel it does help us out a lot but as always thank you guys for checking out today's video and as and i will catch you all in the next one bye